हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यूर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गो नॉट सी अ प्रॉब्लम मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल आइटम्स फॉर ईच क्वेरी नाउ इट सिंपली सेज दैट यू आर गिवन आइटम्स आइटम्स इज नथिंग बट अ टू डी एरे इन विच फॉर द वन डी एलिमेंट द फर्स्ट थिंग इज प्राइज द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज द कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग ब्यूटी दैट वॉट ब्यूटी यू विल गेट फॉर दैट स्पेसिफिक प्राइज नाउ यू आर ऑल्सो गिवन क्वेरीज एज इनपुट फॉर ईच query of j it actually means that this is the corresponding given price to you queries of j is the given price and you have to tell the answer of j for a specific query of j it should be what is the maximum beauty you can achieve with this corresponding queries of j price cool now obviously you have, you will have to re return the answer array because you have to give the answer for each and every query now the first very basic approach which comes from uh, like when i say basic i mean brute force approach which comes from mind is that you are given the corresponding price and beauty you are given the input array queries now your task here is for one go and check the input what all prices are less than or equal to one get their beauty get their maximum beauty okay out of all the prices what is the maximum beauty and that's your answer so i'll go for one i'll go on to all the prices which are less than equal to one okay this is and no okay, no no one else is so answer is two okay answer is two i go on to two for two i will again go and check okay this is less than one yeah this is not this is yes not not okay so out of two and four maximum is four so my beauty is four okay next for 3 i will simply start going again okay it is less than equal to 3 it is less than equal to 3 it is less than equal to 3 it is not it is so what is the maximum again when you are treating keep on taking maximum so this is okay 2 2 4 5 5 is maximum so you saw that for each and every query i am iterating on the entire array and checking what all prices are lesser than or equal to me taking maximum of their prices and returning that as an answer thus for each query i'm going on to the entire array thus the complexity is q into n but if we see the constraints back we will see that q and n both are 1 e5 thus this approach will give us tle what can we do here now just think of it what can you do here can you apply something else obviously you have n square you have to go on to maybe o of n log n or maybe o of n plus q something that sort so when i think of o of n log n i start to think okay can i do a binary search again i'm just telling maybe i'm thinking maybe it's not possible but the standard fact where binary search can be applied is where you can find a pattern of something and nothing again as you can see also things are let's say increasing which means at this point okay all these are less all these are high or in binary form i can say like in general terms i can say that if i am landing onto a specific location some portion which is the left or maybe right it is following the criteria other portion is not following the criteria this is a standard pattern where the binary search problems can be applied now if that is a standard pattern can we link of this pattern here obviously we can how if i have a 3 this is obviously a fact that i am unnecessarily iterating on the values which are more than 3 which is let's say 5 in this case if my value would have been 2 then i am unnecessarily iterating on the values which are higher than 2 which is 3 5 and 3 so what if i would have sorted this array so what i will do i will simply sort this array of prices because ultimately query is the prices and when i am looking what i was doing i was looking for a q as the query and i was searching this in my prices where all i have a value less than equal to given q of j so obviously i should sort it but i should sort just the prices array obviously i cannot because prices and beauties are correlated they are linked to each other so i will have to sort the entire stuff with their corresponding pairs in mind so as you can see i sorted it 1 2 2 4 3 3 3 5 5 6 again i just sorted on the basis of price because that's ultimately my maksad is now when that is the fact what i will do now i will simply again do the same thing for two i will now do a binary search rather than a linear search now you might say i in for two you are going and searching for two 
and you will get the value as four. So, okay, you re returned a four, but for three, again, you are going and searching. But in this case, Aryan, you got firstly two values. And even if in that case, even if you choose any specific value, what will you choose? And you might say, Aryan, I will choose the maximum one. Okay, choose the maximum one. What if this would have been four and this would have been five? Then what? You would have resulted in a wrong answer because obviously two, which is less than equal to three, is giving you a higher beauty. Which means that, okay, after doing a sorting, you also should do one thing. Considering at any higher value, any beauty which is already higher, I can put that beauty. So after doing a sorting, I should also take my prefix maximum. Prefix maximum will tell at this specific point of time, this is the maximum beauty, not necessarily at three, but any value less than equal to three. So I will also take the corresponding prefix maximum. As, as, as you can see, if I just put it back here, it was four, here it was five. So I just simply took the prefix maximum, two, four, four, five, and six. That is my prefix maximum. Now I can simply apply my binary search. What I will do, I will simply say that bro, at a two, go and do a binary search on this input array. You again, when I say binary search, go and look for the corresponding value of two, which is the highest. And thus, I will get the value, which is four. And this is my beauty. Okay, four. Same way for three, go and look for the corresponding index, which is at the maximum location. So I'll get the value as five. Okay, five. Let's say if I do a five binary search, okay, I will land here value is six. If I do a six binary search, I will land here. So far, the maximum value is six. Obviously, in the array, you will land here in the end. So the maximum value is six itself. Okay, this is the six. And thus, what you did, firstly, you did the sorting of the input array. So a n log n for that. And then you did a pre computation, or I can say the prefix maximum, which will again give a factor of n. And then for every query, you are doing a binary search in the input. So for every query, you are doing a binary search in the input itself. So a log n factor for that. And ultimately, this is the corresponding time complexity, q log n plus n log n. Now, obviously, sorting for Java and C++, the space complexity is a log n. And for Python, it is n. So you know that what space to take. Now, let's see the code. It's pretty simple. Firstly, I did a pre-computation. What that pre-computation was, I will firstly sort my input array items on the basis of its corresponding price in the ascending order. So this, again, again I have shifted to Java. This ultimately indicates sorting of the input array items in the ascending order. Cool. Then I also told you that I have to do a prefix maximum. So I will just maintain the maximum beauty so far. So I can override, I can override the actual beauty with the maximum beauty so far. So I will do a prefix maximum. I am taking the corresponding maximum. I'm putting the corresponding maximum here. Although I can put the maximum beauty here also and then assign the corresponding beauty, but it is nothing but getting the current beauty, updating the corresponding maximum beauty with so far maximum beauty and the current beauty. I'll get the maximum. I get the maximum current beauty, which I have. And then also I know I have to keep on repeating this. So I will update my maximum beauty also. Now, uh, obviously, when this pre computation is done, now your task is to simply apply your actual binary search. So I'll go on to all the queries, I'll do a binary search with this input items array and the given price, which is queries of J. Now a simple binary search how it looks like, as you know, my L is zero, R is length minus one item length minus one because I know my input array range is zero to n minus one. And my current answer is zero. Maximum beauty is let's say zero, which I could achieve with the corresponding target price. I will simply do a binary search. The binary search, binary search template says that while L is less than or equal to R, find the mid. If the condition satisfies, do something. If not, do something. And always this is fixed that my R again, here L can also come. But the condition is if I have a corresponding R, it will go mid minus one and the corresponding L will go mid plus one considering I am doing a less than equal to R, right? So again, this is a template. There's also a template for while again, there is no hard and fast rule. When I say template, it is just to speed run up your coding in an interview. You, you, you don't have time to actually dry run. If the interviewer asks, you can dry run, but that is in the end, 
not in the beginning else you will not be able to code again i have faced it i'm telling you that so there's also template for l is less than r where one value actually goes mid plus one and the other is actually mid only and thus you ultimately return corresponding l or r in the end so so also like that's one one more template for doing a binary search now coming on back uh, let's simply erase this we realized that if the price is more than the target price i should go back which means i should say r equal to mid minus one if the price is less than equal to target price then i am good that is i should update my corresponding answer also and also try for a higher price maybe I, I can get a higher beauty and ultimately i can simply return the price so this is the corresponding code for it now can you optimize this or will there can be or can there be follow up yes obviously again i'm not saying optimize this specific code but considering if i can make a follow-up I, I would have said i didn't imagine that your queries are sorted and your input items is also sorted then can you optimize the corresponding code because in this case you're doing a binary search so no matter what you will have to have a complexity of q login which you cannot choose to not afford so what you what can you do in that case let's see so what we realized so far is that we had this price array right we did sort it and when we said sorted we also made sure that we are keeping the corresponding beauty also and then we took the corresponding prefix maximum also now i am saying that what if again this is the inter, i'm the interviewer I, i'm telling you what if i'm you are given with this input array and also 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 considering maybe he tells you that this is also sorted even if not he might ask you that how you can optimize it if this thing is sorted so you can easily see that what you were doing earlier is for a three you were you were doing a binary search and landing on and say okay the maximum so far is five right then again you when you were doing a four four you again were going and landing onto a specific value and say okay five then again when you did five you were again doing a binary search landing onto value and saying six doesn't this seem a bit repetitive in the sense that if i was at one okay if i was at one i was also iterating okay rather than going again and again let's simply copy this stuff right so that i can compare and show you side by side so on the right side as you can see i have the corresponding this is the corresponding items array which is sorted and this is my corresponding queries now for the q1 which means okay for one i can simply iterate just simply iterate and say okay maximum beauty so far is two now when i will go on to next element two so i don't have to start fresh i'm doing still a linear search but now i'm i'm not starting fresh i'm just simply moving it to so far in my this hand i have maximum beauty as two it will update to four so it has four now okay now i'll simply move ahead three again i will try to move ahead in my items array and see do i have a three yes i have a three or again three or maybe lesser than, like lesser value than three okay still you will see the maximum beauty is still a four okay but still you can still move ahead oh now it became five okay i can update a five because i, I cannot move forward okay i move next four i cannot move forward so still the maximum beauty is still five okay five oh i can just simply move forward oh, yeah it became a six okay six and then again move forward okay i cannot move forward okay it still remains six so you saw that for as i'm iterating on each and every query i'm not like starting again i'm still doing a kind of a linear stuff but i'm simply moving forward 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 only thus it is nothing but you are maintaining two pointers and that's a simple strategy which you can do which is you can maintain two pointers but here's a small caveat uh the queries was sorted in this case what if it would not have been which means what if i would have a five here a two here and a three here then what if i would have done the same thing okay aryan uh, one here and then one here so far the maximum beauty is two then five which means you would have gone directly to five because obviously you will keep on iterating and reach directly to five which means you'll get the beauty of six six you 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 got six then it again two you will still come back ha huh. then there is no point so which means that this query also should be sorted but if you remember you have to return the answer of 
like you, you have to return the answer array and that answer array itself if you sort this which means it will become one two three four five six now if you return that <laughs> answer of zero is the answer of this specific query answer of one is answer of this specific query answer of two is answer of this specific query you are screwed up why because obviously you have to return at answer index one it should be the answer of query where the price was five not two so also make sure that when you sort the queries point them to the corresponding indexes it is for zero it is for one it is for two it is for three it is for four it is for five as an index and then sort it so that you always know where this specific query belong to so if i had zero here i had one i had two i had three i had four i had five so when i will sort it i will sort with the corresponding indexes so that whenever let's say five here it, it is at index one two here at index two three here at index four so this will help me at which answer of g i should update it cool now let's see the code it's pretty simple this is a concept called as static query pre-computation again there is a dynamic query concept also which you will see later on but this is a very standard static query which which we can do a pre-compute and identify which query points to where let's see the code it's exactly roughly same that firstly i did sort my actual items array on the basis of their corresponding price then i will take the corresponding because i told you for every query i will need the corresponding index also because i'm gonna sort i'm about to sort it so if i'm about to sort it i will take a queries with indexes as a new array where i will say that index 0 of ith index will be queries of i and the index 1 will be the corresponding index this will help me in future to assign the answer of i then i will sort my queries again on the basis of price which is queries of j now you might ask aryan you did not do pre-computation as you did earlier obviously because i as i told you in my hand i will be maintaining the corresponding maximum so far so i don't need to override the input value at that point cool now uh, let's see that what we're going to do we will simply iterate on the entire queries for each and every query because now it is sorted on the basis of price then i will get the corresponding query price and the query index i as i told you that i should keep on going in my it's a simple two pointers so uh, let's say if this is sorted and let's say if this would have been a this would have been a three as an x value so if i am standing here so i will keep on iterating until i am good to reach any value less than equal to three so as you can see this is simply iterating first checking that i can iterate on my items array and then also the items array price is less than equal to my query price in that is in, in that situation simply keep on moving in the items array and also keep on maintaining the corresponding maximum beauty so far and thus after you are done with this while loop, which means you cannot iterate further in your items array and whatsoever maximum beauty you have achieved is the maximum beauty for this specific query and ultimately i should say for the specific query index so i'll simply uh, assign answer of query index with this with the specific maximum beauty so far and this is the corresponding answer although obviously uh you did a, you, are, you are doing a sorting on the items array you, you are doing a sorting on the queries array you are also iterating on the queries again and again so complexity will be o of n log n plus q log q but this will be optimal considering if both are sorted which your interviewer can ask you as a follow-up now uh, space again obviously as i told you that q because you are obviously building a new array altogether so a q of space will be required here but obviously this so this there will be a sorting space for uh, actual sorting of input array which is n and also your queries array cool i hope you guys got it if yes then do smash that like baby see you in the next video. goodbye take care do follow us on twitter we are pretty active there if you have any doubts go and ask there itself bye bye take care also you can join telegram and linkedin telegram and discord bye bye